So Tatiana Maslany, in case you guys have no idea who she is, she is the actress who portrayed She-Hulk. She's right up there with Brie Larson, Phoebe Waller-Bridge, Rachel Zegler, and among other actresses in Hollywood, in the Hollywood bubble that have endlessly attacked their core customer base, and basically everything involved within either the Marvel Cinematic Universe or Snow White or Indiana Jones 5 in Phoebe Waller-Bridge's case, this is an ongoing trend that we have seen time and time again throughout the past like two to three years now where you have actresses that call out the quote-unquote toxic male demographic, which by the way just does not exist. It's just that a lot of people are very passionate about what they grew up with and really despise what Disney has been doing to all of these major brands that belong to them now. This is Mike Zero. Subscribe if you're new and like this video to see future updates. You can also follow me at Mike Zero One. I thank you all so very much for the great and kind support. So, one thing about Ryan Reynolds is that this guy is right up there with Henry Cavill. And the reason why I bring this up is that he is actually a Disney hire because basically he wants to make Deadpool 3 happen and by his own terms. But at the same exact time, he's dealing with a lot of challenges. Henry Cavill dealt with certain similar scenarios with different studios before in the past. I'm sure that you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. And he stands for the fandom. He stands for the overall source material, much like Henry Cavill. And that's why I like to compare the two actors together, is that they're very similar in that fashion, in that nature. Now, when you look at what's been going on with all the drama with Deadpool 3 behind the scenes, especially with the cameos, all right, and how a lot of this is connected now to those like Brie Larson and Tatiana Maslany, this is where things begin to get out of hand. Now, we already know that Tatiana Maslany continues to really just attack the Marvel fans at the core. However, with Bob Iger and Kevin Feige desperately attempting to save the Marvel Cinematic Universe in the worst ways possible, one major development has to do with She-Hulk actress Tatiana Maslany and Ryan Reynolds after the actress was recently fired and removed by Disney from various projects, including Deadpool 3. Now, one significant update to this situation involves how Tatiana is already warning to take legal action behind the scenes against those like Sean Levy, the director of Deadpool 3, and even Ryan Reynolds, who was the one who made the final call slash decision to fire Maslany from the production of the film by removing She-Hulk altogether from scenes that were written in the script and scenes that are also planned for She-Hulk for the upcoming reshoots that were going to be used by Bob Iger and Kevin Feige to force in DEI elements into the final act of the film. Already, Maslany is now, of course, casting full blame on Reynolds for creating enough backlash formed from the creators against the Disney higher-ups that basically forced Bob Iger into a corner to fire Maslany and give Ryan Reynolds the liberty to do so from the third Deadpool film, which, by the way, was going to be She-Hulk's first major appearance on the big screen, apart from the TV show, an opportunity that was long in the making before Tatiana was fired. The main reason why Reynolds decided to group up with those like Sean Levy and writers Paul and Rhett to battle Disney to fire and remove actresses like Brie Larson and Tatiana Maslany from their forced roles for Deadpool 3 mainly had to do with creative fallouts, with forced improvised dialogue that was pressed onto the writers by Kevin Feige that Reynolds did not agree with. Now, with Maslany now officially out of Deadpool 3, she is already demanding her role to be fully reinstated or she is willing to make some form of a legal case, not just against Disney, but against Ryan as well, since, he, since she claims that he is the one that started the entire situation that started with the cancellation of Captain Marvel's cameo from Deadpool 3. Now, recently, however, She-Hulk Season 2 was axed by Bob Iger and Kevin Feige after Maslany claimed that she had concrete promises of staying in the MCU for at least a solid good decade, starting with Deadpool 3. With both that film and She-Hulk Season 2 officially canceled for her and her actual act, or her character, she is taking it out all on Ryan behind the scenes since the drama has been so loud over at Marvel Studios, it is causing Kevin Feige and Bob Iger to find some way to handle the scenario quietly as fast as possible. One consideration is that they may reinstate some of her partially shot scenes 
to be thrown onto the Blu-ray version of Deadpool 3 in the future to showcase some of the footage that was incomplete. However, this is still looking very unlikely at this point. In addition to all of this, Maslany is also warning Reynolds that she will be going public about all of the fallouts eventually behind the scenes of Deadpool 3 that include her removal from the third film that she believes was completely unfair and damaging to her career from the Marvel Universe and is willing to make that public to everyone unless her role is reinstated. Now, to Tatiana's belief in her argument that she made was by bringing She-Hulk to the big screen and attached to a massive film like Deadpool to kind of use that as a segue she believed that this was going to use the film as a segue to basically advance her career in the Marvel Universe to get that character more familiar to the casual fans. Now guys, let me just stop here quick. Now, again, basically that's what Maslany was aiming for, is that she was aiming to use basically this movie, Deadpool 3, to kind of boost the familiarity of She-Hulk. And that was also something that was actually mapped out by, guess who? Bob and Kevin. This is all a plan by Bob and Kevin that went wrong after they actually caved to the demands of Ryan Reynolds and Sean Levy, even Hugh Jackman, after they gave out multiple ultimatums to remove below average scenes from the film to save their reputation. Now look, I don't blame Ryan Reynolds for not wanting those like She-Hulk and Captain Marvel spewing terrible dialogue in a Deadpool film. I get it, you know? And I think it was the right move. I think it was a very, uh, you know, quick move that Ryan made successfully. This is like the couple of wins that he had with the battle against Disney, thanks to those siding with him, like Paul Wernick, Rhett Reese, Hugh Jackman, Sean Levy, really just t standing their ground and not moving and saying to Disney, you know, if you move forward with this, we're unwilling to engage in those reshoots in the way that we want to do them. So there's a lot of things going on here when it comes to the third Deadpool film. I think as long as the planned DEI insertion into the third act, into the final act, does not happen, which by the way is something that Ryan is trying to prevent from happening at all costs, if they can prevent that from happening by this April, I think that this movie may very well be a solid film, not because it's a Disney movie, but because, <laughs> ironically, it is a Disney movie but Ryan Reynolds at the core is one that is finally speaking up and really just showing who's boss in front of Bob Iger and Kevin Feige. And I think it's brilliant. I think it's another Henry Cavill-esque situation with more wins than losses in this scenario. That's why I really do applaud him for how long he's been defending this movie, you know, through and through, month by month. So again, I think that Deadpool 3, even if it does end up being a decent or above average film, I don't believe it's going to be enough to save the expensive failures lined up for 2025, unless they do a complete reversal where they exclude all of that DEI nonsense for many of the films coming out next year. So overall guys, you know, drop a comment below, fill me in below in the comments what you all have to say about this. And if you guys did enjoy the content for today, make sure to drop a thumbs up on this video to support the channel and I will catch you guys later. Yeah.